over a year ago now, I did a little video comparing the upfront capital investment that you would need to get a heat pump installed and I compared it to a gas boiler. And to do that, I got online estimates from Heatable, from HeatGeek and from Octopus and tried to make sense of it by comparing two different properties. Now this was spurred on um, or my thought in revisiting this over a year on is was spurred on by the Everything Home channel where he's been researching about getting his own heat pump and this video is well worth a watch. I know it's 20 minutes and my audience tends to turn off at 10 minutes but I think it's well worth watching to the end. You might be very surprised and you'll learn some stuff along the way as well. Anywho, so that you don't have to go back and watch my video from over a year ago as we rerun this simulation, this little estimate process online, I've uh, summarized the results from that video for you so you don't have to endure going back and watching year old me. Um, the large five bed detached house that we got some estimates on, Heatable said for a gas boiler 3,835, Heat Geek for a valent um, heat pump was 7,276 and octopus came in at 3,385. I also, in the same geographical area, I got a quote for a small two bed and terrace and uh, that looks like gas boiler 2,685, uh, heat geek 5,561 for a heat pump and then octopus coming in at a bargain 1,725. So what I want to do today is look at just we're over a year on now how has the market changed a price is up a price is down let's get started with heatable okay so running that through for a five bed detached big family home it's coming out with different options they're clearly providing different boilers this year but that's good to see ideal Wiesman, valent excellent options and this year it comes out at three thousand six hundred and five pounds so i've just whacked out onto our spreadsheet there and you can see that that is a fall in price although it's not completely like for like uh, but it looks relatively similar from what I can see in terms of the warranty and all of that kind of stuff and you get a Wiesman boiler so seems like uh, probably a quality bit of equipment I'd imagine I don't know about modulation and controls and everything else I'm not going to get into the weeds of it okay Let's now have a look at a heat pump from Heat Geek for the five bed detached house. Okay, for Heat Geek, all the usual stuff removing boiler, upgrading hot water cylinder, and changing approximately two radiators included in here, along with all the controls and proper design, etc. etc. 5,751, which as you can see, that is £1,500 cheaper than it was last year for Heat Geek. Excellent. What about Octopus? Okay, this is as I expected, as I've been hearing a lot of noise around the Octopus Energy heat pumps and their installations and the new cozy heat pumps that were meant to bring down the cost of insulation installation um, they the prices have massively been hiked we're now looking at the like for like which is the eco install now they've brought out this turbo install which will be less uh, cost effective when you're talking about the running cost but of course less capital investment but anyway we're going to use this to compare like for like uh, over a year ago 5733 let's whack that into our sheet well let's not draw too many conclusions let's do the two bed end of terrace but at this delta between these prices would you pay an extra 18 pounds and get a heat geek with a valent heat pump or would you rather pay for octopus with a cozy heat pump i know for me that would be an absolute no-brainer valent and heat geek every single time um let's have a look at the two bed end of terrace let's see if there are any saving graces to report okay now looking at the two bed detached sorry two bed end of terrace uh house on, here on heatable looking at their boilers and worcester bosch green star which i think was the thing the product they quoted on last year 2410 pounds that is once again coming down in price compared to last year so all these all this uh, stuff about all of the legislation forcing the price of gas boilers up it looks like if anything the gas the price of gas boilers is falling and has done so over the course of the last year let's have a look at heat geek and octopus and get these filled in and draw some conclusions well there you go there's an interesting one from heat geek 5080 pounds 
which is once again about £500 cheaper than last year. So not a, as big a difference as with the five bed detached house compared last year to this year. But still it's a decrease, it's a drop in the cost of the heat pump installation. Now let's have a quick look at the last one. Last but not least from Octopus, let's see what they're saying. Okay, 4,669 compared to last year of 1,725. So we can clearly see that there is a uh, bit of a change of direction. Heat Geek prices have lowered, Octopus prices are raising, and Octopus and Heat Geek are now kind of have price parity. They are on a comparable level. Uh, both of them still significantly more than a gas boiler, um, which actually last year Octopus was undercutting the installation cost of a gas boiler. I thought that was their goal. It seems like they're trending in the wrong direction. Of course, there's still so many ways, especially with smart tariffs, that you can save masses of money on running these things. As um, you can see here on the Heat Geek, they're talking about Ovo Heat Pump Plus. I've spoken about that tariff several times on the channel. For some people, that will work out really well. But just like Octopus with their cozy tariff, that also is not going to be the best solution for everyone. So do your sums carefully and work out what's going to work for you with your heat loss, with your property. Do you have solar? Do you have batteries? What's your lifestyle? Etc. Etc. Blah, blah, blah. What is the conclusion of this? The Ultimately, the conclusion is go and get quotes for yourself. That's why I was so happy to see when I watched the videos here on the Everything Home channel, as I've banged on about so many times, the amount of people who just get one quote for a heat pump and go, no, that's not for me. No, just rule it out. Because the prices vary wildly. And also the service can vary quite considerably as well. I probably went over the top. I uh, put out feelers, I got 14 estimates back and then I proceeded with three of those through to full uh, heat loss surveys, heat loss calculation and full design and quote stage. And I couldn't even get a full quote from Octopus at the time because they weren't doing microbore pipe work, now they know better. I'm just rambling and waffling on. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if nothing else, it's inspired you. You can just go and get these estimates on your own property within a few minutes just by going online and popping your postcode in. No obligation, no deposit needed. And then you can kind of test the waters. A heat pump is a great thing to do. And I recommend it to all of you. If I haven't already said in this video, I should say at the beginning, because the people who are watching to the end, you're, you're already liking and commenting and subscribing. I need to put that to the beginning of the video, don't I? Anyway, farewell.